The call came in a little before 3 p.m. of fire inside the Central Library in Castries. Divisional Officer Lambert Charles says the Castries Fire Station responded with two units. When they got there, they found the fire blazing behind a locked door. Charles says his men had to break the door down to gain entry into the room. We found that there was smoke coming from the conference room, that is at the, the first floor of the library. That room was uh, locked at the time. We could not have immediately gained access to it, but we were able to do so by breaking down the door. And um, we were also able to extinguish that fire. The fire was extinguished in 15 minutes, and already officials have ascertained the cause of the blaze. Our investigations reveal that the fire started in a fan. And as a result of that, other items in the room got involved in the fire items such as uh, DVD player, television, and um, other electrical components. We were able to contain that fire and put it out, and that was the only damage apart from the normal smoke um, damage in the room. The old wives' tale of never throwing water on the electrical fire did not prove true in this instance. Charles says it was a combination of water and breathing apparatus that allowed his men to make quick work of the fire. We were able to get uh, fire personnel dressed in breathing apparatus and in order to, to deal with the smoky atmosphere. And through that we were able to enter the room and we used water. Water can be used, but it has to be done skillfully. And we're able to use water to, to put out that fire. The Central Library is located on Bourbon Street. It is in a historical building, one of the few that survived the devastating 1948 Castries fire, immortalized in Nobel laureate Derek Walcott's A City's Death by Fire. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.